Hey guys, Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com on a beautiful October day. And we're going to kind of be winging this one <laughs> out here on Hilton Island today uh, before I can get this thing out on the water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just try and give you a walkthrough as I'm kind of in tight quarters on this wash rack. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys, you know, as you know, uh, my honest perception of this vessel. What we have here is a 2000 model Hydrosport. Um, uh, 212 seahorse walk around and she is in really really good shape now granted we have a, uh, a Johnson 150 Ocean Pro on her that runs pristine. I have pictures of the engine up on the site um, Stainless steel prop and I know the lower unit was just redone by Matthews Marine just recently All the service work has been done on this vessel either here or out at Webster's Marine um, this has been a dry stacked vessel, uh, single owner, original, um, single owner, original owner, obviously, on this Hydrosport. And, uh, this vessel had hailed out at, uh, the, um, uh, Palmetto Bluff on dry stack and then Broad Creek Marina on dry stack and also now out in Hilton Head on dry stack and it has been dry stack for life. It's been on a trailer only a few times just to go out for service. And I have pictures of the trailer on the site. It's a real neat, clean trailer. And this goes with the sale of the vessel. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a quick walk around and show you guys no bottom paint. Um, and you guys are seeing exactly what I'm seeing. She's pretty clean, she's pretty neat. You're basically gonna have your rub outs from over the years of, uh, you know, from forklifts taking her on and off but overall she is clean uh, you know a brief detail and she'll be shining like new again you got a couple little chippies and scratchies here and there uh, but nothing uh, to really be offended by rub rail looks good you guys see here we got a little gel coat uh, chip there um, as always I want to predicate by saying uh, on this vessel because I didn't take everything off personal items fishing and and supplies that you see are not included also please uh, or we always recommend survey or have a marine mechanic look at the book uh, boat blah, blah. and don't forget uh, sea trial is easily available on approved contracts we got a little chip right there um, on these vessels so we're just taking a quick look through rub rail looks good you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Basically, you're just running into a little bit of, uh, you know, dirt and and simple bean stuff to kind of clean up. A bottle on off. Actually, a hose and a scrub brush will probably take. Well, attacked by an acorn, and I'm just going to kind of walk through. Um, we're going to see if I can get this boat to get some pretty pictures out on the water, uh, and I do want to run her out again. Um, you know, your Johnson Ocean Pro two-stroke. Uh, hours unknown on this vessel. Uh, but she's been extremely well maintained and serviced, as you can tell uh, from the pictures. And and we also know these Ocean Pros are a little louder uh, than your four-stroke motors of today. I'm trying to get my shoes off here. So anyway, we're going to walk up. Um, we're going to do this kind of sloppy today. we got a little on-off. We'll get that off. Uh, swim ladder, as you guys can see, uh, fresh uh, filter over there. You guys can see all the steering. Now you do have um, cable steering. This is not power steering. So keep that in mind. Everything's pretty much clean and neat. I'm going to just kind of walk my way and wing it on the uh, uh, starboard side and also the port. The cushions are showing a little bit of sun wear. As the forklift goes by I'll speak a little louder. Not like you guys can't hear me. And up in this area you can see there's your oil fill. And on this side, we have fresh interstate batteries with a dual perco switch. As you guys go to the side cushions, uh, they're in really good shape. If you guys take a quick look, no cracking, no chipping, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, fading on the top, but that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Same on the port side. Uh, the deck is about as solid as cement. So we don't have any issues there. And what I do want to show you guys, because it's actually a two-man job to get this done, is uh, there is actually uh, a complete enclosure for uh, the helm area. And the enclosure is in unbelievable shape. 
um, for the year. You guys can see what I see. It's just for me to get up here and to get up here and hold it and zipper and do all that at the same time for five minutes worth of pictures really isn't um, you know, effective time-wise. But I'm showing you these are the side windows, left and right side port and starboard. And then these would be the front for your area there, uh, blocking rain and wind. And they seem to be in pretty good shape. On all of the um, Isen glass and panels, uh, all of the snaps and everything appear to be in great shape. Uh, your only concern really would be I would probably replace the actual zippers themselves, uh, which is probably part of the problem why I had uh, trying to get everything in there. They do, they slide and they move great and they work. Uh, but at some point here, I would just spend a few dollars and replace those. And the Bimini is in uh, great shape. Everything works on the vessel. Uh, and I'll get into what doesn't work. Now, I wanted to show you guys up on this area here, you can see this has been uh, from, I, I couldn't even tell you from uh, fishing or lines coming up or whatever, this has been sanded down right here. And I'm just gonna go a little bit slower, you can see that. And you can kind of see, obviously, I don't know what we were doing here, coming up with the anchor or whatever, but you do got a couple little cosmetic issues, but honestly, on a vessel like this, nothing nothing to stress out about you got a little bit of cosmetic crack right here uh, as we kind of go up and in you can see some of your nav lights uh, port and starboard are fresh and newer as you can see anchor cushion on the bow obviously a little more worn out from sitting out in that sun and you do have a little bit of you know that cracking that happens on that tint uh, but overall you are nice and good to go and just so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And you can see on top as far as that Bimini goes. She's just a good solid boat uh, with a well-maintained engine with a trailer. Um, you know, real nice shape. What I'm going to do now is if you guys don't mind, I'm going to move all of this sloppily to the stern of the vessel. And then we're going to move forward. There's my briefcase in case you guys wanted to know. Uh, cushions, as we start to get up into the covered area, are in really nice shape, as you can see. Uh, I will have to check. I'm going to assume these are storage or fish boxes. They seem to have, you know, personal items in them. I'll have to see whether they've, you know, I, I'm looking here, and this looks like this could be a live well, obviously, but not being used as one. So let's just call... Uh, Let's just call cooler box and um, based on what you guys are seeing, what I see, uh, it, it, a live well. Um, if I'm wrong, then I am, but I don't think so. Um, uh, port side helm chair cushions, great. Same as uh, uh, starboard. And up in this area, here are your controls. Uh, this is actually just storage back here. There's your Garmin. Uh, here is your um, compass your throttle, your controls. This hails with uh, a little bit older Garmin GPS 188 sounder, uh, you know, but it does the job here and especially because uh, out in these areas with the sandbars, as you all know if you're out here, uh, it's easy to get stuck. Now as far as up on the uh, control panel here, everything is working except your trim. Um, you work on your switch and you work on your back to get your engine up, tilt up and down, but the, uh, uh, the um, blah, 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 gauge is not working. And also this gauge has been replaced as new as well. And even though they've both been replaced, they are not working. Uh, obviously, uh, you know when your engine's up or down and also clearly uh, your GPS is going to give you speed. You got a VHF Marine IC M402. Uh, just clean and neat. Actually, I didn't take a peek up in here. All right, uh, storage boxes. Um, just not showing any real discernible stress. Just a good, clean, solid vessel. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pop up in here. This is real nice. Um, this is a lot of room in here. As you can see, I didn't. it would take me an hour to get out all these personal items. But the cushions up in here are in great shape. I don't know if they've been redone. Uh, but they're cushy, they're clean, um, and they're nice and up in here. As I tried to show you in one of the pictures, if I pop this up. Uh, uh, Santa potty with 
stuff around it. But uh, that's a pretty big area to handle your business. Now, my only concern in this cabin is, and I want to let you guys know, it is you are showing now that the, the roof carpeting uh, uh, is in good shape. You're not tearing, you're not ripping, you're not peeling off, but it is showing signs of mold. It doesn't smell bad, but I know it's there. Now, um, we had a vessel like this a couple of weeks ago. In all honesty, all we did was go inside, take everything out, hit it with a power washer, and it cleaned up like new. So I just want you guys to see that so you see what I'm seeing. I know some people are mold, uh, mold allergic, so we wanted to let you know that um, it does need a cleaning on the inside. But overall, just a real nice, solid Hydrosport, um, real good, uh, you know, 21 and a half foot, basically. Uh, they're calling it a 22, but, you know, neither here nor there. So anyway, Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com, hoping that you guys understood all that on this 10 or 11 minute video. And we're going to see if we can kind of get her out on the water now and get some pictures and, um, you know, clean up the mess that I just made. Uh, 2000 uh, model 212 Seahorse Hydrosports with a 150 Ocean Pro and trailer, um, you know, ready to go. Seller is going to be um, upgrading to a bigger model for dry stack. Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com, trying not to outscream everybody. Signing off. You guys have a great and safe boating day.